Thank you for choosing APEC Reverse Osmosis Systems. We build the finest drinking water systems in America. In this video, we are going to install the feed water and drain saddle adapters. The RO system is best installed underneath the kitchen sink. If there is not enough room, you can install the system where there is a cold water supply line with sufficient water pressure, as well as an outlet for the drain water from the system. Make sure there is sufficient space for installation. An area of about 16 inches in length, 8 inches in width, and 19 inches in height for the system, and 11 inches in width by 15 inches in height for the tank. Locate the cold water supply valve underneath the kitchen sink. It is usually a round or oblong handle. Completely turn off the incoming cold water by turning the handle clockwise. Check to make sure the cold water is turned off by turning on the kitchen faucet. To assemble the feed water adapter, you will notice a male and female water supply adapter with o-ring. Also included is a male and female converter with o-ring. If your pipe has a half inch connection, attach the female end of the converter to the male end of the water supply adapter. You now have a half inch male and female feed water adapter. If your pipe has a 3 8 inch connection, attach the male end of the converter to the female end of the water supply adapter. You now have a 3 8 inch male and female feed water adapter. To assemble the needle valve portion that screws onto the feed water adapter, please apply 5 to 6 wraps of Teflon tape to the needle valve threading. Upon unscrewing the metal compression nut, you will see a plastic sleeve is placed inside. You will also notice a plastic insert is provided. Please note, the sleeve and insert are both required for the feed water connection towards the end of the installation. For standard installation on a flex line riser, loosen the nut and separate the cold water riser tube from the cold supply shutoff valve. Gently bend the riser tube so that the feed water adapter fits onto the shutoff valve. Use an adjustable wrench to secure the connection. Now connect the riser tube and tighten. Use an adjustable wrench to secure the connection. At this time, attach the needle valve to the feed water adapter by hand tightening it clockwise. Use an adjustable wrench to completely secure the connection. Test the feed water adapter at this point. Close the needle valve by turning clockwise all the way until it stops turning. Turn on the main cold water supply to the sink faucet. If you feel some water around the needle valve connection, joints, or adapter, please check the connections, apply more Teflon tape, or tighten the brass nut. The drain saddle assembly should be installed above the trap and on the horizontal tailpiece to reduce drainage noise. If a horizontal tailpiece is not applicable, you may mount the drain saddle as low as possible on the vertical tailpiece. Mark the position of the hole on the drain pipe with a pen or marker. Using a power drill, drill a quarter inch hole on the top side of the drain pipe. You now have a quarter inch hole to begin the drain saddle assembly. A piece of self-adhesive sponge tape is provided to place inside on the top piece of the saddle. This will cushion any gap between the saddle and the pipe. Using a thin screwdriver, make sure the hole on the sponge tape is thoroughly punched out and is aligned to the hole on the saddle. Use the thin screwdriver to guide the alignment of the top portion of the drain saddle onto the drain pipe. Attach the other end of the drain saddle to the drain pipe. Connect the top and bottom of the drain saddle with the supplied nuts and screws. Hand tighten the nut. Then secure the connection with a screwdriver and adjustable wrench. Now that you've installed the feed water and drain saddle adapters, please watch our next video on installing the RO faucet.